Hey guys, what's up? Dr. Shred here. Today we're going to talk about your strategy of working out. When you go to the gym, what should you do? And I'm going to contrast two different techniques that are out there. A whole body workout where you work your entire body, every workout, which is what I do, versus the split technique where you do certain groups on certain days. So let's talk about the disadvantages and advantages. I'll show you why I think whole body workouts better. Let's get into it. Okay, so a whole body workout versus split day training. A whole body workout is basically what it says. It works your entire body. So you're working your back, your biceps, your chest, your triceps, your forearms, your legs, and your abs every single workout. A split body routine uses a couple of opposing muscle groups on each day. So you'll do back and biceps one day, the next day do chest and triceps, the next day maybe do legs, and then you do abs. And it splits it down into different days of the week. So let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each. So let's talk about the disadvantage of, of split day training. We're gonna use, for example, back and biceps. When you do split day training, you're over-utilizing certain muscle groups. If you're using your back, for example, doing a back row, and then you do bicep curls, and then you go back to something else with your back, your muscles are fatigued. You're using the same muscles the whole day. You're using your biceps and your back, and when those muscles get fatigued, you can't utilize them very much. When they're tired, they just can't lift as much. And so as you work out throughout that workout session, you're getting less efficient as far as building muscle. Also, when your muscles get fatigued and tired, you're likely to use improper technique and you're likely to cause injuries. If you're trying to do a bicep curl and you just can't get there because you've done three sets before related to your biceps, you're gonna use poor form, you're gonna start tearing muscles and you're gonna get tendon injuries, tendonitis, or perhaps even worse, muscle tendon tears. And also, when you do split day routines, the intensity of your workout wanes over the workout period. You start off strong, your biceps, your back are fresh, they feel good. Towards the end of the workout, they're kind of burned out. And so you're really not doing a lot when you do those exercises. And so your calorie burn is not as intense. And so if you're trying to lose weight and get an aerobic workout, you're not gonna get it done with overutilizing the same muscle groups on every day. So split day workouts, in my opinion, lead to excessive fatigue, they lead to a lack of intensity of workouts, and they lead to increased injuries of your muscles and perhaps even your tendons. And they don't lead to a good cardiac workout as well. So let's talk about the advantages of a whole body workout. This is where you work your entire body every session. And when I say entire body, you don't have to do every single muscle group every single workout, but you're using an overall body workout to flow throughout the gym and use muscles that aren't fatigued and aren't tired. The advantages of a whole body workout include, number one, you're very efficient with your time. When I'm working out, every muscle is being used vigorously. If a muscle is tired, I leave it alone for a while and move on to the next muscle group that's not been used recently. So I'm constantly improving my efficiency of my workout. By giving muscles that are tired a chance to rest during your workout and moving to other muscles that haven't been utilized, you reduce muscle fatigue, reduce muscle strain, and reduce tendon injuries. Whole body workouts also increase the cardio aspect of your workout, and this is really important. When I'm doing my whole body workout, I'm supersetting everything. So I'm using my biceps and then triceps. I'm using my back and then I'm using my triceps for something else, using my shoulders. I do four ab workouts every time. I use my legs as well. And so I'm getting a cardiac workout during my muscle training programs. So I'm not only building muscle, but I'm increasing my endurance, I'm increasing my cardiac health, and I'm increasing my blood flow. When I increase my blood flow, the veins start engorging. What gets good bounding veins and the accessory veins that you may be looking for is having a lot of blood flowing through your arm throughout your workout. If you're doing the split day workouts where you're benching, taking a five minute break, and then doing another bench, you're not increasing your blood flow and you're not going to get the vascularity you're looking for. The other advantage of having a cardiac workout with every gym session is it puts me in great endurance. So my gym sessions get longer, I can do more and be more intense, and I'm not getting physically tired during my workouts. And that also bumps you to the next level of fitness, next level of being shredded, and next level of keeping your weight down. So the whole body workout techniques that I use help me burn a lot more calories through my workout than most of you may be doing. I'm burning about 800 to 1,000 calories every time I go to the gym. And if you count your calories, I doubt you're getting close to that. You're probably more in the five to 600 range. So if you wanna burn more calories, get more physically fit, get more vascularity and lose that weight you're looking to lose, the whole body workout may be the right plan for you as well. And the last advantage is your six pack. A lot of you are looking to get a six pack. You have to work your abs every time you go to the gym. So I do four or five different sets on my abs every single day I'm at the gym. I go to the gym four days a week, about two hours at a session, and doing my abs every time I go to the gym has really helped me get my six pack developed. So that's what you have to do if you wanna get a six pack as well. And that involves a whole body workout. Working your abs one or two times a week is just not gonna cut it. I don't care how hard you work them out, you're not gonna get your six pack going with that kind of routine. So there it is, whole body workout versus split body training days. 
I've explained what I do, I've explained the advantages of what I do, and I think it works better for me. When I go to the gym and ask people what they're doing, they often tell me back and biceps or triceps and chest. Most, I would say 90% of people do split body workouts, and I would encourage you to try to do it my way. I think you'll increase your cardiac burn, you'll increase your muscle utilization, you'll increase your muscle growth, increase your vascularity, get that weight down, get your six pack going, and get the body that you want. Hope this video is helpful, and thanks for watching.